it's Corey, and I'm here today with Brayden from Mickey Views. What's up, guys? And we are here in Disney Springs, and Brayden's in town, so we decided we'd get together for dinner, and why not do a dining review from somewhere I've never been. I've never eaten at Split Spill before, but you have, right? I have, several times, in fact. And you've always thought it was good? Yes. So, guys. The variety Brayden, of food. Brayden know? is the one right They got Americana, they got sushi, they got bowling going on the, the background, they got... I think they have pool or billiards. A little, yeah. little bit of everything. One of those. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Secret and table. I'm excited because I'm starving. And it looks like it's going to rain out here. So what do you say? Let's get in and get now started. Inside. I don't want to get the cameras wet. So here's a look at the menu here at Splitsville, and you can check out the appetizers. Like I said, I've never been here before, so some of this looks really delicious. Look at these loaded french fries with queso and bacon. That looks delicious. And then you got some edamame, kind of some of your, your traditional appetizers, but they do have pizzas here, like Brayden was saying. And then sushi, which is really interesting. Sushi at a bowling alley. Not something that you would imagine, but um, I've heard it's really good. And you can see the prices very, very much online with prices that you would see even outside of Disney and outside of the parks for rolls. You know, some are between 12 and $17 a roll. That's pretty much on par with what you would see even outside of the parks. And of course, you got your handhelds, burgers and sandwiches. And then they even have some entrees and salads, fish and chips. This is the second week in a row that we've done a dining review and saw fish and chips on a menu. We saw those over at the Edison as well. And uh, I think they were $28 over there or something, $21 here. Um, but some entrees and salads that look good as well. And then we've got the desserts, root beer float, cupcake, super sundae. That looks delicious. Not sure what I'm gonna get yet, but definitely a big menu with a lot of variety. All right, so here's our appetizer at Splitsville. And we got the loaded fries, and these are fries smothered in queso blanco, bacon, ranch, scallions, and love for $14. All right, so we're gonna try these loaded fries here at Splitsville, and they look delicious. They smell really good too, and I got a giant bite, so here we go. And those are delicious. I love those fries. Um, they're nice and fresh. They got a nice crisp to them. The temperature's good. Um, that cheese is really, really creamy. A little bit different than I thought. I don't really taste any ranch. I don't know if the ranch is like mixed with the cheese or something, um, but there's nothing like separate on there other than the cheese. The bacon's really good and crispy, and the scallions are a nice touch. Overall, I think for $14, this is a really big appetizer, and uh, it said it serves two or more. I think four or five people people easily can eat off of this even more. Um, so I think this is a good start here at Splitsville. So for my entree, I got the grilled avocado and ahi tuna. And this is a halved avocado that's grilled and filled with a generous portion of seared ahi tuna tossed in spicy kimchi ponzu sauce and topped with scallions and spicy mayo served with sushi rice and crispy wonton chips. And this was $17. All right, so I'm gonna give this avocado and ahi tuna a try. And it's actually interesting because I've had a dish that's kind of similar to this at a lot of sushi places around where I live. And um, a lot of them call it a monkey brain. And it's a little bit different than monkey brain. It's not in the skin and the whole thing is deep fried. So they basically fill the inside of the avocado with tuna and crab and then they deep fry it and it's really delicious. Um, this one's a little different. It's cut open and it's grilled and then it's got this ahi tuna. It smells delicious. Let's give it a try. And that's pretty tasty. The avocado is really good because it's still nice and warm from where they grilled it. But you can't cook it for too long because, you know, avocado will just completely fall apart and melt. But it's got that nice, warm, creamy flavor to it. The tuna itself is really meaty and delicious. It's got a great flavor. There's two different sauces, that kimchi ponzu and that spicy mayo. Both are really good. I think for $17 too, again, we were talking about the sushi prices when we were looking at the menu. I think um, everything here so far has been a really great value. And for $17, this is gonna be pretty filling once you eat this whole avocado. 
And Brayden got the buffalo chicken sandwich. This is a breaded chicken breast spiced up with hot sauce and cooled off with ranch dressing, lettuce, and tomato, and it's served with french fries, and this is $16. All right, here we are with the buffalo chicken sandwich. Look at that color, amazing. All right, here we go. The thing about buffalo chicken sandwiches is sometimes there isn't enough sauce. But this one, there's the right amount of sauce. The entire thing is sauce. Has a little bit of spice to it. Has a perfect buffalo flavor. I get this every time. Nine out of ten. So this is the cheese pizza. It's a house-made crust, mozzarella, and fresh tomato sauce. And this is $16. And I gotta say, for $16, this pizza is pretty large. Definitely could serve two people, maybe three, depending on if you get an appetizer. All right, let's give this pizza a try. Like I said, it's pretty large for $16. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. Um, and the crust looks nice and thin. The cheese looks delicious. Let's give it a try. And I have to say, again, very impressed with the food here. I mean, for a pizza from, again, a bowling alley, I know this is more than a bowling alley. I'm kind of like oversimplifying it and saying we're eating it. It makes it sound like we're eating it some little hole in the wall bowling alley. This is Splitsville. Well, it's a big restaurant and just has bowling. But again, this pizza is delicious. The sauce has really good flavor. The cheese is really tasty. It definitely has that good mozzarella flavor, what you would want from a piece of pizza. And uh, again, a great value for $16, pretty large. Share it with more than one person. There's no way we're eating all this food. It's so much food. All right, so that was our dinner here at Splitsville in Disney Springs. And what'd you think? I thought it was a lot of fun. That buffalo chicken, whoo. Delicious. It was awesome. The french fries were delicious, and I love the avocado with the ahi tuna. That grilled avocado was really good. Again, I was very impressed with the portions of everything, the freshness of all the food, and uh, definitely a great value here in Disney Springs. That pizza was huge. We have another person with us that got the pizza, and she doesn't want to be on camera, so don't think that Brayden and I ate the whole thing, because we, <laughs> we couldn't no, eat all of that no. food. There's no way. We couldn't even eat all the fries. It was so much food and uh, a great time here in Disney Springs. So that's gonna do it for us here tonight. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe below for more like it. And make sure you go subscribe to Mickey Views. Brayden has a great channel, guys, and if you are not familiar with it, go down in the description below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. This is where I get all my Disney news, guys. I'm not a I try, guy. I try. I get it all <laughs> from this guy right here. But that's gonna do it for us tonight, and we'll see you next time.